morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this Monday, Monday, October the 7th, 2024. And I'm doing good like I know I should on this Monday. Ah, ah, just wanted to stretch. Mm, stretching does feel good. And because the bed I the bed I'm sleeping in right now, it's not the most comfortable, but it you know, it gets it gets the job done. And that's all that matters, you know. I get my rest in that, in that bed. <clears throat> I wanted to come on through. Ooh, and I hope oh, I'm probably gonna need to do a little bit more stretching. Um, I I want to see if you can follow what I'm saying and what I'm about to say in relationship to um, uh, moving forward. And what it looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like, tastes like, all those sensings involved in that. Because I told you, when you, anytime you do anything, you need to involve all your sensing. You know, what you hear, what you see, what you feel, taste, smell, blah, blah, blah. It has to go all the way down. You know, is it logical, rational, reasonable? You know, see that, see the abstract of it, see the sub, sub you know, uh, uh, subjectivity objectivity um you know just just kind of put all of those kind of factors in 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 the uh formula in the um the mixture just like you're getting ready to bake a cake say you say you're baking a cake you know put all those kind of ingredients in you know kind of spin it out and you know mix it up and see what what you come up with you know bake your own cake so to speak metaphor Ooh, so in the last few months or so, and I mean, for for as long as I can remember, I've always seeked to understand. I've seeked to understand as well as I seek to understand myself. I seek to understand others. And I, I, I attempt to, you know, get to the, the root of the matter. I, I do. I want to get to the root of the matter. I've wasted so much time, but I realize... It's not necessarily that I've wasted time. It's just a lot of time can be drained from your account, so to speak. If you look at it that way, as a metaphor, you know, we all have an, an account. Say, say for example, is our consciousness or a psyche, and you know, in that account, there is some, there is something buried in that account. All right, there's a buried treasure in that account of your consciousness, your subconscious, your psyche, and you're responsible for uncovering it, you know, kind of opening it up and see what it reveals for you. And that's the same thing with life in general. You know, you, you have to, you have to go through certain steps. You can't skip. Skipping the line, all it does is bring you back. It just devolves you instead of evolving you. Skipping line. If you're skipping in line, you know, skipping the elevate yourself over other people you know stepping on people climbing all over you know it's just going to be a, it's going to be a mess you know a pretty mess right possibly so i attempted to understand i just wanted to understand what does all this mean and so i got into metaphors parables a long time ago because that's how i was able to kind of see the deep meaning of things by by considering the parables of it you know the 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 analogies um and it's not religious of course i want to make that very clear um you know it's it's like the lessons is what it says here you know you know it's a comparisons they use it as comparisons uh again like i said i i do not uh subscribe to the religious um components of it uh, but you know, we all we all are responsible for how we are learning and developing and growing. And sometimes you have to go through a certain. Sometimes you have to go through religion, and you know, walk through that path of religion, and see, okay, what's going on here? Walk through another path of religion. Oh, okay, what's going on here? And see what the comparisons are. Okay, and usually, if you can find the comparisons, you can sometimes get to the deeper meaning of it and get to the get to the truth of it because the truth is timeless and the truth can be found in everything if you dig deep enough you know you can find the truth you know you can find the truth in lies you can find the truth in untruth 
And because you need untruth, you need lies and manipulation and deceptions to find the truth, to know, okay, what is really going on here? So you, that's why you, that's why you can't skip things. And so that's why you have to be very, very, very careful of the dangers of attempting to be perfect and, and being so positive and, and being so, you know, being so uh, submissive, you know, that kind of personalities of people. Aye, aye. They are, you know, and I know a lot of people don't like it when you call them boring. But, you know, uh, let me see. What, what does it say about boring and why it causes people to be dull, uninteresting, okay? Um, you know, when you find people that think they're perfect, they're dull to me. They're dull. Um, you know, because, you know, what else do you, if you think you're perfect, then why are you alive? Why are you still alive if you're perfect? You know, that means you're done. You should ought to be already in the level of energy, you know, that, that's that, that nothingness of energy. If you're perfect, you know, you, you're done. Right. So that's why I, you know, that's why I do, I stay away from, um, people that think they're perfect and think they, um, you know, that that believe that they are a blessing in disguise. You know, all this, fa I'm highly favored, I'm chosen. Stop it, please. You know, I'm going to keep appealing to those of you that are kind of spinning in that kind of reality because it's just going to give you, it's just going to cause you a whole lot of unnecessary experiences that you're not going to that some of you may not survive i'm just being really honest about it so you have a lot lots of people that have these goals you know which is fantastic to have um what i do like i said i just want to understand i want to move forward you know i i test out everything i really do and there's nothing wrong with testing out everyone's theories and opinions you're supposed to you're supposed to to test out theories and opinions kind of have a discussion and conversation either with yourself or others about theories and opinions whether it's coming from scientific field philosophies educators spiritual social media you know whether it's about your 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 small business your nonprofit, your foundations blah 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 you're supposed to kind of dip your toes into uh, everyone's theories and opinions about what and you know and, and, and say well what is what does it mean to be successful what does it mean to be normal <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean what does it mean to be reasonable you know be logical you know be be grounded you know those kind of things I constantly am kind of kind of uh, in those kind of fields of developing you know, on my path, you know, uh, I trust, like I said, I trust my alignment. You know, I, I love and trust the people that I support. They know who they are. I love and support, you know, the uh, opportunities of these moments that I have, like others, to, you know, to, to make things right, you know, to make things right. And, you know, you're going to run into to, to roadblocks. See, a lot of people don't know they're in a spin. You know that they're just spinning, 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 spinning. You know and that they are not necessarily evolving, so to speak. They're just spinning, spinning, deja vu, deja vu. They, you know, they they don't realize that they are in that. And I, it didn't take me. It, it took me a while to, to know I was in it. This was back when I was in my thirties. You know, I knew I was. In, I, you know, I, I was I was spinning all over the place. <laughs> but during those times, though, I still was able to get uh, develop myself and bring some knowledge and bring some lessons and understanding and why I was spinning. So, and that's why I said, you know, it's so important that you get, get to a certain level of reality before your forties. Otherwise you just may, you could just going to continue to spin, 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 you know, you'll feel elevated one day, you know, thinking, okay, I've I've uh, I've uh, survived this storm literally, figuratively, metaphorically, and then before you know it, there's another storm coming through. 
And that that's literally going to happen from now on for all of us on this planet. There's there's going to always be a preparation necessary just to survive these storms, these catastrophes, you know, in relation to our environment, our infrastructure, you know, it's cause and effect. You know, we, you know, you know, you just have to be honest with yourself by what you are experiencing, what your life experiences are attempting to tell you. A lot of people just don't want to listen to it and because they think, they, like I said, they think they're perfect. They think they can fix everything. They think they know everything. They think they are so highly intelligent. You know, just nothing more, nothing less than intellectual talking heads. You know, those bobble heads talking, but rarely get anything done. You know, they'll start a project, not complete it, start another project, not complete it, and, and just cause complete chaos and destruction. There's plenty of people that are so-called leaders that are doing that. And they know that they're doing it, too. They know that they only have a certain amount of, of time to do things. So they'll they'll be scrambling around, you know, in other words, shuffling papers around as if they're getting things done. Because they know that, at, you know, at some point, okay, they, they, some, some people know that they're in a virtual spin. Uh, and because they know that allows people to um, get all excited and be all enthusiastic and be all joyful. But then when everything starts settling, you know, we, we a lot of people spend too much time in the, in the excitement and celebration of stuff. You know, say, for example, we get the first, you know, when we do get the first uh, woman president, Everybody's going to be spending so much time, almost three years, celebrating that, and then and they expect a you know, and then maybe get something done in a year. That's just how we do it. We just waste so much of our opportunities, you know. And that's why it's so important not to put everything on the on the shoulders of one person. That's illogical, you know. You need to there needs to be you know a team of people, or, you know, in these uh, like mindedness that are attempting to evolve the consciousness, to evolve the society, to elevate, you know, and bring us back in harmony, you know, but bring us back in, uh, you know, in rhythm, you know, with our sounds and tones. Our sounds and tones is the key. That's the key, all right? Literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, you know. <clears throat> you know, get back to a harmonious sound, and listen to and pay attention to something that that may be off key quote unquote and so that's what's what I find out about things that I'm doing you know uh, like I said I trust myself I trust myself I love myself I value what I have developed as, as in relationship to who I am what I am and why I am so uh, that's why I say I don't have any trust issues at all because if I do, they, they start with me. Um, so again, and like I said, I trust my alignment. Even though I, d I didn't at first, I was gonna throw in the towel, and who doesn't? You know, because of all this interference. You know, you listen to people, and then you re you know, you listen to people tell you this and tell you that, and a lot of us are like, okay, okay, okay. You know, we're so willfully. Uh, 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 believing that these people know what they're talking about and then when you pull the curtain open okay they ex there's there's that exposure okay and you realize most of people don't have no idea what the hell they're talking about and most of them are in leadership positions most of them are the head of these um, billionaire boys club a lot of it is pedigree nepotism favoritism okay that is that's what it is it is what it is so Trusting yourself will allow, you know, you you know, you know, you do have to walk the talk. And sometimes you have to walk through the forest in order to see the flowers. And, they, or you know, sometimes you have to walk through the darkness in order to see the light. I mean, we, you know, so many people are saying so many beautiful, beautiful parables and, you know, these metaphors and, and analogies. And, 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 and my point to all of this is to the people that are doing the right things, being righteous, at some point, you're not going to even hear all that other background noise and all the distraction because a lot of people are just rambling, <laughs> right? They're not doing any of the things that they're, they're telling you to do. 
They're not taking any of their own advice. Okay. I can guarantee you a lot of the people, you know, because I look back at certain things that were said and I'm listening and listening. Then I realized this video, these videos have been out five years ago. These videos were done five years ago. And the people that put them out are saying they're, they're spouting the same things. They haven't elevated out of any of the things that they taught and they taught some great lessons. So you can tell a lot of people are not taking their own advice. Um, so, so to the righteous ones like myself and others, just breathe, just breathe. There's going to be a separation of the wheat from the chaff for a reason. Because a lot of people are just spinning, 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 rambling, 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 like I like to do, you know, in a, in a friendly manner. But a lot of people are, really are stuck in a, a spin. They're not coming out. They believe these formulas and all they are is uh, ramped up uh, the same kind of um, rhetoric, you know, um, the same kind of, um, like I said, um, uh, you know, is it return? Is it a return on any type of investment? You know, it's very rare that people uh, uh, follow up on uh, on whether or not they're getting their returns on their investment because they're so because they get themselves indoctrinated to believe that this stuff is going to work. This stuff is going to work. This is the this is the formula. This is the formula, and the math is not mathing. You know, and when you're and you don't know, and I'm not being, you know, sometimes you are in that spin, that py that um, pyramid spin, uh, that Ponzi spin, and don't even know you're there because you are down here. You're down the, you know, a lot of people are funneling. They're so there is 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 becoming what they call it top heavy. There are more people in that funnel of the pyramid. You know, the below in that you know, in that basket of, of, um, you know, cause the, the pyramid is supposedly that hierarchical. Yes. And it is, but at the top it's becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Everything is, you know, either everything is spreading itself out toward, uh, in the bottom. And you know what happens when things bottom out. So it's, in other words, you're looking for a mountain that's not there. Okay, so pay attention to what you are involving yourself in. Don't fear stepping your foot in into things. You know, you may have to put out some money. You may have to put out some time. You might have to put out some effort, but, but do so. That's part of evolution, though. You know, go in there, listen to what people are saying, listen to what people are talking about, and realize, you know, be able to compare you know, have a comparison to things and make sure, you know, you know, and, and it's no, it's no, it's no, this is not being harsh towards the personalities of people that are involved in this, these schemes, because they turn out to be schemes. Uh, they, you know, I think a lot of them are starting to smell their own shit too and realize, okay, you know, and, and, and they, they, they start to realize what it is. I could tell when I talk, one, I was talking to someone, you know, a while ago, and uh, I can tell this person was desperately attempting to spin something to me, spin some, you know, and and I and I and I remember saying to that person, I said, you know, make sure, make sure you're grounded. I said to this person, make sure you are grounded in what you are saying to people. Okay, and make sure. You are being realistic and realize that maybe what you're talking about, nobody's listening to what you're talking about. What people are doing is looking at the results. And if you're telling people they can make this much money, that much money, you know, it, you know anybody that's thinking realize, okay, what it's all about. Nobody's reinventing the wheel. So all you're going to do is be spinning, 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 spinning. And, but you, but you realize that it's, it's becoming smaller and smaller and tight and tight and tight at the top. And there's no room for you. Okay. In other words, that's what, that's what I was picking up with this person I was talking to. I think they're realizing, okay, there's no room for me in the top actually. And then all, and also what's happening with this person, I can tell 
everything's starting to be piled up on them. You know, now they're being responsible for everything. While the people at the top, you know, go on vacations, you know, take these trips and and you're like, wait a second here. You know, you realize that you're not part of that no more. You may have started out, but then you realize you're not part of it. Okay, you're not part of it. And so now all the responsibility is on you. And then you're like, wait a second here. I didn't sign up for this. And so <clears throat> just pay attention. That's all I'm saying. Pay attention. <sighs> realize that, you know, nobody's reinventing the wheel. So, so in other words, you know, Ponzi schemes work. Pyramid schemes work because they get you all excited and worked up. And then all of a sudden you realize everything's trickling down. You're getting more responsibilities than, than you had in the beginning. You know, just pay attention, pay attention, but you're not seeing the results. And, you know, you notice that all of a sudden you were part of the, you were part of the, that, like I said, that elite squad of people. But then all of a sudden now you are responsible for everything now. And the elite squads, like I said, they're they're on a cruise, they're on their yachts, you know what I mean? They, uh, they are on a on a on a, uh, on a vacation at these exotic places around the world, and da 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 da. Pay attention, pay attention. Um, I uh, like I said, I trust what I'm doing. I trust, you know, a small amount of people as to what they're doing. I don't interfere. I support. They don't necessarily interfere. They support. And that's what you want. You know, you want people to, you know, and like I said, you're going to make mistakes. You have to you have to put your foot in the water, literally, figuratively, metaphorically, however. And, uh, you know, get some life experiences and, um, and uh, be willing to trust yourself and know that you are not mistaken in certain things that you've had life experiences of. I know when, like I said, I know when I'm in a spin. I do. But I just want to give people the benefit of the doubt because I, 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 I don't want to say I believe, but I can't, I'll say it. It doesn't matter because belief is unproven anyway. But I, I, I can say I, I thought or I suspected that, that some people mean well. They're just trying to take care of themselves. They're trying to take care of their families. They're trying to, and so if somebody comes forward and say, "Hey, I got this idea. I got that idea," and and then before you know it, you know, you know, but there are some that are intentionally setting people up to fail, setting people up to collapse. And like I told you, there's gonna be a grab. You're gonna see it. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna sense it and receive it. Those of you that are below in those pyramids. You're going to see things closing up, closing up quickly. All of a sudden, you know, your hours get cut or you or you get more piled responsibilities on you. Or, you know, this just some subtle gradual, uh, gradual things start happening. You know, people are not accessible to you. You know, you know, you call somebody, you can't get to them and you can't find them. You know, certain, certain things start happening with your money your your investments, your interest rates, just pay attention. It's all a formula that has worked, unfortunately. It has been working for hundreds and thousands of years. That constant spin where you go nowhere. I heard one scientist, I, I don't know if, if they are scientists or not, but I heard this one scientist, so-called scientist, was complaining about other scientists that they are dealing with and they realize, and they're realizing that as well, that it's nothing but the same old rhetoric for decades upon decades upon decades upon decades, where nothing is changing. Like I said, that uh, what's that 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 what's that um, that Einstein, uh, you know? <laughs> oh boy. You know, um, what did, what did he, what is that coin thing that he, Albert Einstein, <coughs> everybody's saying, what did they say about him? He, he, um, um, E equals MC square. You know, you remember that formula? I guess it's a special relativity. A lot of people didn't realize that that, has, that, that formula expired decades ago. In other words, it went, it's going nowhere. 
Okay, he he made that statement or he somehow calculated that, but it hasn't evolved from the, that it hasn't evolved since he announced it. You know, the field of physics, the field of physics. You know, he got a Nobel Peace, uh, Peace Prize, didn't he? Peace Prize. Nobel, no, blah, blah, blah. Nobel Peace, Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. And for the most part, that is as far as it went. 1941, 1921. That's as far as his theories and opinions had gone and a lot of scientists are not going to accept that they're not going to accept that because they don't want to that's number one and number and and they're comfortable in in their in their complacency because you know they really don't didn't understand what he was uh, his theories and opinions because they didn't ask the right questions of him you know they didn't you know they didn't push him to 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 you know to evolve a bit further to raise this level of um you know this this so-called his so-called theories we did that with all of the philosophers scientists and all of that from the 1900s 1800s we didn't the the, the uh, students did not ask the right questions and not and, and chances are they did not um, prove anything they just kind of accepted it as is okay this is what this man says we, we you know we be, we believe him without any evidence on our behalf to see if we can re reproduce it. Is it reproducible? Okay. So there's a lot of things coming forward. It's a lot of, I, th I find it fun and inciting. Uh, you know, I talk about a lot of stuff and I know who listens and who doesn't. So I'm good. Um, I'm not here to, uh, you know, to um, um, necessarily, um, <clears throat> I want my information to get out just like anybody, everybody else's does. And my information does get out. So that's why I'm comforted in that. But at the same time, you know, you want to make sure that you're covering all bases. You know, you stay consistent. I'm consistent. You can listen to the first video and to the, you know, and to the video today. I've been con consistent. But it, this is hard. It's hard to un to unindoctrinate people. Okay, it is hard to bring people out of their beliefs. Because that, you know, a lot of, a lot of, see, it's all about energy, and that energy of belief can be affixed to your, to your, your brain, so to speak, can be affixed to your skull, can be affixed to your consciousness, your subconsciousness, your psyche, and it's, it's, it's and it cannot be removed, safely. That is, safely removed. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, get my day going I got things to do uh, places to go you know what I mean but I want I do want to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains you know do everything in your power to understand just understand and make sure that you do everything in your power as well to trust yourself it may not make sense sometimes but trust yourself and be guided proper, properly alright peace and love and trust me I will be back